Well, in a day of political drama, a high-ranking Newman government bureaucrat has been sacked and embattled Minister Ros Bates has quit Cabinet. The Friday shake-up means a lucrative payout for former transport boss Michael Caltabiano and a new face for Cabinet. State political editor Cathy Border is at State Parliament and Cathy, the Premier has been having a clean-out. He sure has, Georgie. Now, Michael Caltabiano has been on sideline, has been sidelined from that job for some time now. He's pocketed $200,000 during that period. It doesn't end there. He'll also get a sacking payout of more than $200,000 on top of that. So his seven-month appointment as a Director General has certainly been an expensive one for taxpayers. His salary, I believe, was around $462,000. So clearly the Premier wanted to have a clean-out Today, the Caltabiano move nearly overshadowing the decision by Ros Bates to quit the ministry. So that will mean some cabinet changes. The Premier says there could be some broad changes. All up today, it's been a big day for the Santo Santoro faction of the LNP. Transport Director General Michael Caltabiano has been sidelined on full pay since October the 25th for allegedly misinforming an estimates hearing about his employment history. In particular, his lobbyist links with Ben Gommers, the son of Minister Ros Bates. Mr Caltabiano celebrated the Newman election victory with his former Brisbane Council colleague. Well done. Well done. Ten years. Ten years. The Premier issued a three-line statement announcing the Caltabiano sacking. The CMC is still investigating. And the door is opening for a new Cabinet face. Beleaguered Minister Ros Bates quitting the Newman Ministry. She has felt under a lot of pressure. Uh, I think it's affected her health and her recovery from a serious illness last year. And I think her family particularly have suffered as well. 319 days as a minister, but 73 of those spent on sick or annual leave. Her judgment again questioned by taking a Bali holiday immediately following sick leave last year. David Gibson, Bruce Flegg and now Ros Bates, cabinet casualties. Three ministers uh, in less than one year. There are problems that are plaguing this government. For months, Ms Bates' lobbyist dealings have dogged the government. Last week, she sacked her chief of staff. And I am um, certainly not going to put up with um, personal attacks from the Labor Party. I'm not going to put up with any personal attacks from the Labor Party. Just yesterday, she batted off a barrage of opposition questions in Parliament, vowing to stay. I'm actually getting on with the job. Premier Newman denying the writing was on the wall for his arts minister and that he asked her to go. I think she came up trumps. She, she, did, a, she did a great job. The minister was a constant diversion for the government. Nanango's Deb Frecklington is considered a front-runner to stitch up a cabinet post. The Bates resignation means there are now only two women in the Newman ministry. Thanks very much. OK, see you later. Okay. Ros Bates will remain as the member for Mudjurabar. Now, John Paul Langbrook will be the acting arts minister. I mentioned Deb Frecklington as a possible cabinet contender. Another name being bandied about is Ian Walker from uh, the Greenslopes electorate. So a po possible couple of names happening there. Now, another idea doing the rounds regarding cabinet is that a new member would not actually be appointed to cabinet. They'd take the cabinet numbers back to 18 and just reassign the portfolios. We'll find out in coming days. The opposition has been calling for action on on the Caltabiano and Bates issues for months. Today they scored Georgie the double whammy. They sure did. Thank you, Cathy Border at State Parliament. And now to breaking news and